Pray they don't forget my name Cause the game rules I can't lose When it's all said and done Will I still be cool? Spent like How much? 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 How much I'ma spend profiling? She come in and compliment my closet Fuck her on the floor like I don't give a fuck about it Your judgment get clouded when you cloud it My opposition wish I'd stop smiling My family wish I'd stop wilding I'm still on the east side smoking with my OG Cause they the only ones that really know me Girl, tonight I won't be selfish Yo, what's good you two? Uh, it's your boy Ashton uh, Welcome to my home of Bo, for real You know, we're here for real about these sunglasses So let's just hop into it, so uh, follow me All right, so uh, y'all, let's get into it. Yeah, so this is where I usually tend to keep the sunglasses that I'm wearing currently for the most part. And I got those up there pretty much because those are probably like my two most grabbed pair. And everything else to just depend on the situation or whatever. All right, so essentially, bro, I got like five to six pairs of sunglasses that's really in my current rotation. Like most of them look uh, pretty different from each other. You know, y'all might disagree, but I, I feel like I got like a, a certain style of kind of like frame that I kind of lean towards. It is what it is. But I will say, it seems like black seems to kind of occur a lot in my sunglasses. First up, we got the Prada Symbol sunglasses. Now this pair, it seems like everybody and their mama seem to have them, and rightfully so. They are some heavy hitters. The versatility is crazy. You can put them, it seems like with every outfit, they chunky, they bulky, they're durable, they're rugged. It seems like you can just toss them around, they not gonna break them when you, you know, like you just take them anywhere. They seem like they don't last forever, bro. So, I can't lie. I completely understand why everybody is gravitating towards the product. So, that was the product symbol sunglasses. All right, so next, We got the Tom Ford Clint Aviator. Now, the Tom Ford Clint Aviator, you know, they're pretty, they pretty clean, I can't lie. The bar that's going across the top of it, like the nose bridge and stuff, clean, extra clean, unique, it stands out. It's both, it's striking. You look on the edges of the glass on the corner, and you can see the Tom Ford T. It's also like the pencil on these. Kind of like an iridescent kind of look. That's pretty smooth too. All right, so then next up we got the Burberry Oliver Aviators. These, these are clean. And then that yellow tint. Wow. Yeah, before I was really interrupted by that phone call, uh, the Olivers are clean as hell. Like, I can't lie, bro. I feel like These are honestly some of the, the cleanest sunglasses I think I probably own in my, my rotation. Like as far as just standoutishness. Like I don't even know what else. Is that even a word, standoutishness? I don't even think that's a word, but that's what these are. You can wear them in the daytime. You can wear them in the afternoon. You can wear them at night. And they, they don't really compromise on visibility because it's a yellow tint on them. I like how it's clear, like on the acetated on the frame and stuff. It give you a little bit of Burberry checkered on the side. Everything about it is just clean. So it might be not. Shout outs to Burberry for making these Burberry Oliver Aviators. You know, I'm not even gonna lie, these, these next couple, these next two really, are some of my favorite. They're by the same brand. And the first one just happens to be the Dior Round sunglasses. 
SKU number 02103 or something like that. These right here, these jumps are clean. Even ASAP Rocket wore them. Actually, I had them before I even knew that he wore them. But yeah, these jumps are circular. They're extra futuristic looking. It's like the frame wraps around the sunglass. Like it's like double framed almost. Like the whole way through. So it's like really cool. That's probably my favorite detail about them. And you don't notice it until you get close up. Another thing about Dior sunglasses is for the most part, almost all of them are super lightweight. They're probably going to be the lightest frames you'll ever own. I haven't owned any lighter frames. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some out there, but so yeah. The next Dior sunglass will be the Dior Chroma 3s. These, these are, these are the number ones. These are, I'm just speechless. These are, these are my favorite sunglasses. So my bad, my camera died. Uh, we were talking about the Dior Chroma 3s. I didn't even realize I was on the long rant about how much I love them, but essentially they're just like a futuristic rock star kind of feeling sunglass for me. I, I don't know how that's to explain it. How the lens is just like ultra polished and smooth and just shiny. The metal details that are accented in the frame. These are some beautiful sunglasses. All right, so last but certainly not the least, because these are also some bangers as well, are the bio-based Gucci's. Now, these are clean because they're also clear. They're just bold. The lenses are mirrored, but the frames are chunky. They're definitely giving like kind of like a Y2K 90s kind of older aesthetic. I've had them for a while, probably at least 10 years now, but they're seem to have kind of come back up and I found a new love for them and I've been rocking them a lot recently. So I have to give it up to these Gucci's for, you know, really standing the test of time and holding it down even in 2022 when I know they definitely ain't from this year. <laughs> so uh, shout out to Gucci for those. So um, y'all can be expecting a lot more content from me in the coming weeks and months genuinely. I do plan to right now consistently post once per week. So when you're watching this, expect another one the following week and the following week and hold me to that because I'm definitely going to be consistent this year and I'm going to be bringing y'all the quality. I tried to up it for you guys. So uh, much love. Don't forget to uh, subscribe so y'all can be up to date with me and you know you can always like this video. Peace out.